All right, everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem 6 The Binding Blade. Blind-ish. Yes, we're continuing our kind of blind playthrough of this game. And as we all know, well, at least the people watching right now, it's February 14th. And naturally, that means it's a very important holiday that we all need to commemorate. It is the 31st anniversary of the release date of Lemmings for the PC. Woo! I know that that's what I think of when I think of February 14th, because Lemmings has had such a profound effect on my channel, even if I don't do much of it anymore. I guess it's also something involving St. Valentine, but eh, yeah, who cares? While, while some people are out actually celebrating with their loved ones, or significant other, their spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever it is, I don't have any of those. So... I'm playing Fire Emblem 6. I'm spending my Valentine's Day with Sophia because we're still on Chapter 14 Arcadia. We had a very devastating stream last time. Sophia died at the very end because of a very, very stupid mistake on my part. So I had to replay the entire chapter again off stream, but I've gotten to more or less the same place. And you know what? God has a funny way of working things out. So we're back here and things arguably went even better this time. We got some great level ups. Deke has been kicking butt, and I've used far less of the Durandel this time, which is awesome. Ellen's been doing great. She's about to level up. Astol has been doing great. We found all of the treasure except for the one that requires Sophia up here. Mil uh, Milady has d gotten some decent level ups, but she also just leveled HP once, which is annoying. Thaney is Thaney. I actually... Uh, so this time, we've killed both of the Berserker leaders... The brigands are kind of scattered a little bit more out this time, so I've actually given Sophia a couple of level ups, which is great. But she's still bad. We need to give her some more, so I'm hoping to do that later on. Bart Ray has been here just with his bow, so all of these bandits have just been like, okay, we'll attack him over and over again, and nothing happens, and Sophia can pick them off from a distance. Roy has been slaughtering the bandits up here, and he is now level 19. He is almost capped. If I can cap him this level, that would be great, because then I can just shunt him to the side. And we don't have to worry about him until he promotes, which, hey, that's a great... That's great. Lolina is capped. She didn't get speed like she did last time. I've also removed all of her equipment because the brigands were attacking her. And I, she was max level, so I didn't want that. And Cecilia is Cecilia. Klein hasn't really been able to do a whole lot. Yeah, whatever. It's also annoying. I keep, keep in mind, Lolina is level 20. She has 29 HP, and this is after we gave her an Angelic Robe. Without that Angelic Robe, she would only have 22 HP at level 20. She has only leveled up HP like five times, I think, which is just really dumb. Yeah, and that's pretty much everything. Now, honestly, I don't want to have to replay this chapter again, so I'm breaking one of my rules of Fire Emblem. I'm actually making a save state. In case something stupid happens, I I want to progress. I want to progress. Anyhow. So we do need Sophia to get over here eventually. It's turn 17. We still have plenty of time. Here's Randy with his light brand. What can Ellen do? Okay, Ellen gets doubled, but you don't die. What, do, what can Deke do? Okay, this guy might be tougher than I thought. We can use Durandel. How about Milady? How does Milady fare? Not good. How about... Uh, Thaney has decent res. Okay, Thaney actually withstands two attacks from this guy, which is interesting. Unfortunately, she can't really do any damage. But who, need, who needs to do damage? Also, we haven't checked out this shop yet. Okay, and we've got the silver card here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're getting a restore staff. We're getting a torch. Getting a men's staff or two. Getting another flux for Sophia. I don't think we need Nosferatu. We, Ray has a Nosferatu. Um, we have two lightnings. I will get another air caliber. I will get an L-fire. And I'll get a pure water. Yes, that's a lot, but we have a silver card. We can afford it. Okay, I think... Okay, first off. Okay, cool. So Ellen's able to do that. Uh, if I, I need to make sure t combat animations are turned back on. There we go. Alright, let's see what Ellen can do. My sword is impenetrable. Now choose your death. By the blade, 
or by its light. I'll show you light. Alright, nice job, Ellen. I'd like to get Ellen to S rank in light magic. So she can wield whatever S rank light magic is in this game. But she's got a long way to go. So. Hmm. Deke, can you finish this guy off of Durando? Yes, you can! I am glad that I could meet one so strong as you before my death. Well, he is a hero. <laughs> Hero mirror match. Woohoo! Level up for Deke! Oh, that's a beautiful level up. Strength, speed, HP, luck. That's great. Ooh! I think these are the last four enemies on the level, which is just fantastic. Um, Sophia. Can you finish this guy off? I need to get her up to the... To where the boss is eventually, along with Roy. But, hey, we can give her some more level ups. Any experience on Sophia is welcome, because, I, again, I do want to use her. She's so cute. Okay, I think that's the same level up you've gotten the last, like, three times. Haven't gotten speed. Actually, she got one point of speed. Hmm. I see. Mend up Sophia. You never know. I mean, if Sophia gets attacked, she's probably going to die anyways. So we got to make sure that don't happen. Like, Roy has been kicking butt. I know they're common axe brigands, so that's to be expected, but, like, still. Also, again, I did give the boots to Elfin, because that's just, like, the end-all be-all best decision you can make. It's He's so crazy good. Guess we're pulling out the rapier now. Oh, yeah. Oh! And I believe this should make Roy cap. Yes! Level 20 Roy! Oh, that's a great last level up for Roy before he promotes. He got strength, boys. You know what? I want to say it. Roy, my Roy has turned out pretty darn good. I'm looking at those stats. I'm like, yeah, those are some really good stats. 14 strength, 14 skill, 14 speed, 19 luck. 7 defense, I guess, is like a little on the low side, but like, I'm cool with it. 6 res is good. And he has an A rank uh, support with Lelina, which gives him even more attack power and even and a higher critical hit rate. And like, he's he's insane. He's doing better than Root. Like, Roy has been one rounding these guys. Root, well, okay, Rooker is one rounding these guys, but only because he crits. Like, what the heck, Rooker? I've been kind of disappointed in Rooker's like offensive power. It's 19 attack. It's not great. All right, Lomina, we can give you your stuff back. Now, as long as we don't have any more stupid things happening, like, oh, hey, we just had a bunch of, like, uh, just had a bunch of berserkers spawn out of nowhere, because that's fair. Also, I can't remember if I killed the Air Caliber guy up here. I actually genuinely don't remember. We did. There are no enemies left. Cool. As much as I like Elfins, I played the flute dance. I think it is a bit lacking, alright. Or, like, it, it does take a bit long. The nice thing about Sophia, she's so lightweight. <laughs> Anybody can pick her up because she only has free con. All right, at this point, yeah, I think it's just a matter of let's ferry everybody over, or let's ferry Roy and Sophia over. All right, do I want to buy anything here? Uh, no, I don't. Actually, I'll buy a single steel sword. I don't need anything else. Steel weapons in this game generally aren't that good. And it pains me to say that, but it's true. Oh, Ellen, you should, uh, top off Deke. What's the score? Jeez, Mobius, that scared me. <laughs> Welcome, though. <laughs> 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 
The score is every, but every enemy is dead and we are all alive. It's my favorite score. Cool, cool. Sophia goes here. Something is glittering in the sand. Oh, a beautiful rain. <gasps> oh, yeah! Get Lolina over here. Uh, what turn is it? Okay, we still have five turns. <laughs> Easy. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're promoting Olin in this chapter. It's gonna be great. Oh, I can't wait. Promoted Olin is gonna be so good. <laughs> you can't. The sandstorm is giving your PC a weird illusion. That's funny. Ah, I'm not using Cecilia. I don't need to give her experience points and waste of men's staff. All right. There we go. Oh, oh it's going to be so good. Okay, Thaney, you can continue building supports with Deke. You can do that. We're going to promote Lolina and then seize the throne. My gosh. Yeah, I don't know what people are saying if my Roy is really bad. Maybe I just got super stat blessed with my Roy, but he's good. He's very... Like, I'm comparing his level 20 stats to his dad's level 20 stats in Fire Emblem 7. Roy's a lot better. Like, a lot better. All right, Lolina. Let's see you promote, girl. Oh, it's gonna be good. Oh, she looks so classy. All right. Oh, thank goodness, plus free speed. Okay, those are some nice... Did she get plus five ma... Oh, no, she got plus free magic. She is definitely going to cap magic. Her skill is low. Oh, she's so happy, though. Oh, I'm so... I'm so happy, too. We all happy. All right, let's conquer the throne. He was a tough opponent, but we won. I don't know. He kind of got slaughtered. Sophia, where are the inhabitants of the village? What's wrong? the entrance to the temple. This door. It looks like it's been forced open. What lies inside this temple? There is something we call the Divine Weapon. It is a spell book. Divine Weapon? There was one here too? Then that must be what Burn was after. In that case, we may be too late. It is there. I can feel it. Alright, let's go. We may still be able to stop Burn. Oh boy. It's side quest time, Woody, the Infernal Element. Are we getting four blaze? Because I'm giving that to Lelina. <laughs> In the hidden village, Arcadia stands an ancient temple. One of the divine weapons is said to be hidden in it. Oh, it, it was it was Athos's weapon, and then he, he died, and they must have brought it back here. Oh, that's great. Roy and company were quick to follow Burn's troops, who had already found their way into the temple. Oh, we're going to, to the sacred temple. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? This is like the worst, one of the worst chapters in Fire Emblem 7. Why would they bring this back? Do you have original side quests? Well, I mean, again, this came out before Fire Emblem 7, but all three of the side quest chapters we've done here have been basically repeats of Fire Emblem 7 chapters. At least this one, the layout is a little bit different and the water is blue instead of purple, but still. Ah! Berserker. Oh, wow. Can you say linear map? This is not great. Maybe we can train um, Sophia here. There's a lot of long range weapons, though. I don't like it. Nosferatu men. Eclipse! <laughs> cool, cool. Physic. Okay. They've been giving the enemies a lot of physic stabs on the, uh, in this game. Okay, who will we take? Definitely Thaney and Milady. We need flying units for this map. Uh, we don't need Astle. Definitely Sophia. Gotta level her up. <laughs> ah! 
Okay, Tate, I think, is a bust at this point. We have two flying units, and we're out of whips. Chlorine could be good, actually. So, oh, we, we need to take our man Lance. Trek yeah, has served his purpose. Okay. Um, let's see. We need units with high defense. Lance is pretty solid. Oh, could take... Nah, I think Lance for sure. Oh, and Deke. Okay. Lance and Deke. <laughs> Together. They're the unstoppable duo. Yeah, definitely taking Lance. Okay, I'm looking at this. Okay. Oh, wait. If... So, okay. In Fire Emblem 7, the gimmick is that some of the bridge tiles will collapse. So we might be able to make choke points and just be like, Deke, you stay here. No weapons. Sophia can pick you off from a distance. I'm really hoping we can get something like that. That would be fantastic. Oh, also, who's the boss? <laughs> His name is Oats! A lieutenant leading the attack on Arcadia. He's an old man! Old man Oats! My brother Barley couldn't be here, but I'm gonna attack you instead! His name is Oats. I mean, he's actually kind of scary. He's got some good stats, and he has bolting. Okay, we're bringing a barrier staff. His sidekick needs to be Hall. I don't get it. I think Barley would be a better name. Fits the the whole Oats theme. Okay. Mmm. Yeah, I definitely want to bring Ellen. Okay. Ellen, get rid of that torch staff. Oh, um, no need for a restore staff. But we, will, we do want Barrier, which I think is on... Uh, what's her face? It's on... Uh, ah. Cecilia. That's her name. Definitely want that. Hi! Alright, Lolina. Hall and Oats. I, don't, I still don't get it. Oh, okay, we got, we have, oh wait, we do have an, oh wait, that Elysian Whip is for Milady, that's why. Orion's Bolt we're never going to use. <laughs> Maybe I should just sell it. Okay, we have an Angelic Rope, an Energy Arena, a Speed Wings, and a Talisman. Probably should use those. The thing is, I want to see where Sophia lies at after some level ups. So that way, if she's like desperately needing in a certain area, like speed, I can give one of these to her. Although, I think, regardless of what happens, I think I want to give Thaney that energy rain. Because she's 8 strength. She, she needs more strength, I think. Yeah, like, even Sophia is... Sophia's going to surpass Thaney in terms of attack power. So yeah, I'll give her that energy rain. I'm cool with that. Then we had a talisman, an angelic robe, and then... Was it a secret book? No, no, speed wings. Okay. I don't think we need any of those. Um. All right, Sophia. Oh wait, we already—I probably didn't need to buy that extra flux. Whoops. Oh, we have a warp staff now too. That's good to know. I ain't warping for this chapter. We're fighting. We fight for honor and glory. All right, yeah. Sorry, Tate. We we're not using you. Did we give her a support? No, we did not. All right, cool. Thaney's supports are still wide open. Oh yeah, I was t kind of using Lot, but not really. Lot, you can get the bench. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, I think I think this should be pretty good, shouldn't it? All right, let's start. Chapter 14X, The Infernal Element. <laughs> Lot doesn't have a wife anymore. Haven't you found a divine weapon yet? Oh, yeah, so we, we think it's light inside this altar, but it won't open. Break it, force it open, or do whatever. We do not have much time. 
but we must also deal with the enemies that have entered the temple. We don't have enough manpower to force on the al use force on the altar. I don't know, we must get rid of the enemy first. We can examine the altar with leisure. <laughs> this is the underground of the desert? Why is there water everywhere in the desert? There's so much water. Yeah, exactly. This is close to a large source of groundwater. That's why plants and animals can live here. I see. So that's why you were able to build a village here. Still, how did you find such a convenient place like this? Athos. The Arcsage Athos is the one who led us here. What? Do you mean the Athos of the Eight Heroes? Yes. After the scouring, Master Athos traveled around Elib. At the end of his journey, he arrived at a village in which people and dragons lived together. But he said that it would only be a matter of time before it was found by other people. So he led you here? Yes. And he hid his divine weapon inside this temple. And... can we use the, his divine weapon? Yes. Master Athos said that we were to use his weapon to protect Arcadia. And if you use it, it would be to protect us. Alright. Thank you. Some of the pathways in this temple will suddenly sink into the water. Yep, just like last time. Please be careful. Except this is a different water temple. What are the odds of there being two water temples in Elib? There was one in the Black Fane area of Burn, and now there's one here in Arcadia. That explains why the water color is different. Okay! This is this chapter is going to be Operation Train Sophia as much as possible. Okay. To start things off, we are using the barrier staff on Thaney. Because we want her to lure out Oats's bolting. Yes, this game is, as a matter of fact, unfairly and annoyingly difficult. Both of those. Use that. Boom. Energy rain on Thaney. Look at that. She has double-digit strength now. She's so happy. I'm old man Oats. How dare you come to this water temple? I'll fry you with lightning. <laughs> I don't, like, hate the Ocarina of Time Water Temple. Actually, like, I think it gets a lot of undeserved hate. But this Water Temple is going to be annoying because it's going to drain parts of the passageway out. So, at this point, if we're trying to use... If we're trying to use Thaney as much as possible, so, uh, for one... Keep Roy within support range of Lelina, but he's going to stay to the side. Uh, Lance has decent res, but again, we're trying to drag out his bolting with Thaney, not with anybody else, so... We can build up supports, I guess. Lance, you can stay next to Roy to build up that support. Uh, Milady, you can stay next to Ellen. I'm sh I don't know for sure if they have a support, but they, they ought to. I just need to find someone for Sophia to support. She's cute, and, you know... She needs those support bonuses. Is Oats not attack? Oh, I'm probably not quite in his bolting range because he won't move off of his the throne. Okay, there we got some pirates. All right, everybody's moving. Yep, that's how, that's how it gonna be, I guess. Okay. So if he doesn't move, we basically subtract two from all of this, so... Cool. Thaney, you can go here. You'll get attacked, but it's fine. It's all chill. There. This should be fine. I think it's fine. Nah, there aren't really magic units outside of uh, old man Oats in the bolted, so uh, I don't think we have to worry about that. Alright, let's not have the Durandel equipped, though. I think, hmm, 
I think the issue is going to be... I think the issue is going to be weakening these guys to the point that Sophia will be able to finish them off and not just one-rounding them. Doggone it. Should have... Should have brought an Axe Reaver for Milady. Sophia's still fragile enough that if you breathe on her, she's going to die. And I don't like it. Here we go. I wasn't expecting you to fight so well against all of us. We haven't even fought anything yet. I'm old, I forget. Ah, I missed. Ah, I knew I should have had oatmeal for breakfast. <laughs> Ten bucks says that Oats is a Quaker. <laughs> oh man, I love how Thaney can use swords now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was a good joke. I don't care what anybody says. Okay. In case of emergency, we can rescue her away. <laughs> I love her animation. She looks so classy. All right. Sophia, please hit. I think this is going to be a reoccurring theme. Sophia, please hit this guy. No. Oh, also, I gotta make sure I'm not enraging the oats! Oh, no, I'm enraging the oats! <laughs> oh, hey, he has an axe reaver. Oh, that's just hunky dory. <laughs> I can hand axe my lady. Eh, she'll live. Even if he, she gets doubled, she'll live. <laughs> yeah, go run, run home to mommy. Really? You fool! You wish to take on the unstoppable duo of Rutger and Deke. <laughs> I'm surprised he went for. Uh, he probably wouldn't have been able to hit. Oh, no! He has a freaking hand axe. Of course he does. Watch, he's gonna double Sophia and she's gonna die. Yep! Whoa, what did I know? Why does everybody on this level have a ranged weapon? Well, you know what? At least we died early, so we don't have to redo that much. And now I can remember to give Milady a uh, axe reaver. Who has the axe reaver? We do have an axe reaver. Right? Oh, we don't. Okay. Fine. At me and see if I care. Alright, that, that time did, that didn't count. <laughs> Oats is like, ha, I knew I'd kill that purple-haired girl. <laughs> I probably should preemptively use the Speedwain on Sophia, just because... Well, okay, keep in mind, when she has Flux equipped, she only has two speed right now.
So, okay, never mind. The speed wings wouldn't make a single lick of difference. Never mind. Alright, now we can drag out Oats' attacks right from turn one. Ah! I feel like I've been here before! <laughs> Must have just been a weird dream I had. Thankfully, Bolting only has five uses. How many of these enemies don't have ranged attacks? That's That might be a better question. Okay. You don't. Alright. You don't, but you do. You obviously do. You do. It's like half the pirates do. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Mmm. That guy. This guy is gonna be some prime Sophia fodder. He has 13 res, though. Oh, but she has 15 attack! Oh, that's perfect! She can just slowly pick this guy off from a distance and get a bunch of experience points because he's promoted. And we've got a guy with a men's staff over there. Oh, okay, okay, well. We'll have to- we'll, we'll save him for last. He can't actually attack us from a place where we can counter him, so... I don't like that. Mmm, okay. Let's, let's back up. Let's, let's just back up. You know, we should still be in range of oats and the barley. Keep Sophia kind of close by for moral support. Elfin, you can keep playing your little harp. If you can level up your bard, you definitely should. Bard gets better speed, more survivability. I was about to be like, did I give a stat booster to Elfin? Yes, I did. I gave the boots to Elfin, and that's a very good idea. Mmm, Ellen could be a prime candidate for the Angelic Robe as well. Because this post-promotion Ellen, with several level ups, only has 26 HP. I know she's not supposed to be a frontline fighter, but, like, still, that's, that's embarrassing. All right. We're taking this one slow and steady. I'll hit you this time, you whippersnapper! Told ya! <laughs> Your barrier staff ain't doing a whole lot. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> alright. <sighs> I don't want to have to bust out the physics staff on Thaney, but we'll see. Oh, wait! Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect! It strands them. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> nice one, Deke! Critical hit with the hand axe. Get rid of that berserker. He ain't gonna kill us today. Oh, I should have given Lelina a staff. She can use staves now. She's only an E rank, though, but still pretty good. Okay, I need to lure these guys. Okay. Oh, yeah, you've got an Axe Reaver. What do I care? I literally don't care at all. Alright, here, you guys ready for some pro strats? <laughs> By pro strats, I mean I have a bard and I'm going to use him. <laughs> it's what I want to do. 
I want to use Thaney to take out the guys who have hand axes, and not the ones who don't. Oh, <laughs> wow, nice one, Thaney! Oh, yes! I love sword-wielding Falco Knights. There we go. Keep... <laughs> keep Sophia out of range of that. Um... I also don't really want Deke doing that. Ah, oh, doggone it. Deke, you're too fat! Deke, you're too fat! Still want to build up that support with Lance and uh, Roy. All right, let's try that. I'm gonna kill you! You can't run forever! <laughs> Don't got it! Why is Bolton so inaccurate? I knew I should have had those. I shouldn't have had so many oatmeal cookies. That's a... Okay. Even when he crits, he don't kill. But at least he won rounds with a crit. Maybe I should give the energy... <laughs> Maybe I should have given the energy ring to Rutger. Man, Thaney is coming in clutch this level as a Falco Knight. Kind of makes me wish I had promoted Milady so she could join in the fun. Okay. This is where we start wearing him down. Okay. Who? Let's see. Who is somebody who could just function as a tank? Just sit here, let this guy attack over and over again. Honestly, probably Milady. Okay. Hang on. That's out of range of oats, right? Okay, yes, it is. Good. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Elfin, take all of my lances. I'm gonna park my butt right there. This way, Sophia can pick him off from a distance. <laughs> I'm using Sophia. This is this is reminding me of using Nino a little bit. Except at least Nino, it was extremely accurate with her attacks. I can keep this up all day. I'm I'm using Sophia. I don't care. I don't care if she's like the worst unit in Fire Emblem history. I'm using her. <laughs> I want to I want to prove it to myself that she's the worst dog on it, Sophia. <laughs> oh no, not the poison axe. You've got a hand axe. You oh oh you got a poison axe. Okay, I don't want you to hit me. Oh man, I might be able to have Thaney attack the guy, the Poison Axe guy up there. And then finish him off of Sophia. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, okay, here, I know what I'm doing. Take the heel staff, I want to see you. Lean with that staff. Oh, she looks so nice. Besides, you still gotta mend. Alright. Again, we're taking it very, very slowly. And I'm okay with this. We are not on a time limit for the... On a, we're not on a turn limit for this level. God start it! I hate kids these days! No! Oh, I'll get you yet! You haven't seen the last of oats! <laughs> uh oh, poison. I didn't bring a restore staff. It's okay, I've got heal staves. 
Okay, the guys on the poison with the poison axes, I'm gonna let them just run to the path and be like, Oh, hey, milady don't have a weapon. I'm gonna attack her. Where's the guys with the hand axes? Oh, no. Not Eclipse! Oh, no! Zero percent hit rate! <laughs> Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Just keep it up, Fanny. You're doing great, girl. <laughs> I kind of feel bad about trash-talking you so much. Yeah, you're doing great. Oh, no. I... It, I literally don't care about this. At all. All right, Sophia. <laughs> let's see. You, let's see you put in your work. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's so much better. Here, let's do it again. <laughs> Maybe she supports with Elfin. Maybe she doesn't support with anybody. Maybe she's like Ninian, where she has like three people she can support with, and they're all at like the end. All right, you've missed free 56% and hit it only once. Not saying it's impossible, but it is frustrating. Okay. Here's the Fane. I don't want those Poison Axe guys to attack Fanny, but I do want the Hand Axe guys to attack Fanny. So here we go. I'm gonna lure you guys over here. Milady, you gotta just you gotta just suck it up. Melina, we're gonna train up your staff rank. It's gonna be great. Maybe if I can train Sophia up to like level 20, she can take on Oats. That would be great. I would love that. <laughs> okay, I also. Mm, uh. Okay. I'm glad I saw that. I see you over there with that hand axe. Oh no. Okay, worst case scenario, we can have Milady rescue. But I, I just realized he has a hand axe, he would have attacked um, Sophia. He had a poison axe and a hand axe. Alright. Got. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, good. Milady has uh, vulneraries. All right, all right, we're good. Now, I'm hoping the other Poison Axe guy is going to move right behind that Poison Axe guy. Oh, yes! This is great. This is exactly what I want to see. Now we can deal with these stupid Hand Axe guys safely. <laughs> Come on, keep bur keep burning through that eclipse. Do it. Gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of this side quest. I mean, I definitely could take it faster than this, but the collapsing paths, the very linear path, the fact that like ever, <laughs> I am I'm so good with this. Okay, I am so good with this. All okay. right. Only uh doggone it the water gives accuracy or gives a void though. Okay, you got a hand axe and you have a hand axe, you have a poison axe. Okay, cool. Cool. We're gonna attack you. Why am I missing so much? This is Fanny with the energy ring, by the way. Just 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 want to point that out for everybody watching at home. That's Thaney with a stat booster to give her, to make her better. Yeah, everybody's getting these hand axes, and I don't like it. All right. Uh, ooh, yes. Let's try Nosferatu. It has more power, so we only have to hit it once. Let's 
Sophia. I'm begin I'm I am seeing why people hate you so much as a unit. You're very you're very beautiful, but and you've got a great personality, but wow you suck as a unit. <laughs> Don't care, still using you. <laughs> shaman from the Debata. Well you're a terrible shaman! You can't hit the broadside of a barn. He's in water, like he can't move. <laughs> Good lord, this is ridiculous. Nobody's able to attack her, right? <laughs> She's like this the precious little baby who will get, if you breathe on her she dies. All right. Well, you know what? People can attack Lance. I I ex I can accept this. You can attack Lance. We can keep building up those supports. We all live happily ever after and get pie. Speaking of pie, pie is made from uh, bread and bread can be oat bread, and, and speaking of oats, I think it's lightning o'clock! <laughs> actually, wait, that we might not be in range of Mr. Oat. I don't like how everybody's a ranged weapon. It makes it impossible to train Sophia, especially when she can't hit squat. <laughs> Thank goodness Thaney can fly over water, dodge everything, and deal with things from a distance. She's the savior. All right, Lance. Lance the Pants is back on fire. Oh, okay. Well, you're allowed to miss occasionally, Lance. Okay, Milady, <laughs> Getting a little bit worried about you. Oh, Go suck an egg, physics staff users. Alright. Alright, what do we do about this? <laughs> Please hit this, Sophia. Like, do one thing right. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! There we go! Look how many experience points you've got for that. Now get a good level up. That's not a good level up. I mean, I'm definitely glad your survivability is increasing, but can you get speed? For once! <laughs> Alright, now here's the problem. He has a hand axe, he has a hand axe. We need to take them both out. Wait, it's not actually that much of a problem at all. No, it is because Thaney can't do damage. Okay. Hmm. I have a plan. Move you away. Lolina? Can you one-shot somebody with, like, air cal- Hmm. How about Thunder? Okay. You're going to use Air Caliber on this guy. Thank you. Ooh, yeah, Lelina. Oh, she's so powerful. And she's actually getting, still getting a decent amount of experience, which is great. All right. Oh, this is great. And Roy can rescue her. And then Ellen can start training up her light magic rank. I, I love the sound effect of the lightning tome. It's great. There. Now we, now we get the, the mad people who are... Yes. This is, this is great. This is so good. Alright. Who needs HP? Well, <laughs> who doesn't? Who doesn't need HP? Scene for Lelina. Lelina, you can build up your... Uh, Staff rank on Sophia. And this is why we let Milady keep her vulneraries. <laughs> All right.
I could go for a crit. <laughs> a 5% crit. Because right now we ain't going anywhere. <laughs> it's like I inflict damage on them. And then they get physicked up. And eventually I'm gonna run out of Iron Sword. <laughs> That'll be a sad day. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Thaney assist Sophia in getting these kills. Because Thaney is weak enough that she's not gonna kill the pirate outright, but she'll severely weaken it so Sophia only has to hit once instead of like three times. No, not the Eclipse! Ooh, I'm so scared. It also occurs to me that if we kill Oats while he has Bolting equipped, he's going to be a lot easier because he won't be able to retaliate against us, and that Bolting, I think, will weigh him down by quite a bit. Uh-oh! Bridge's back. Okay. Going to need a secondary tank, perhaps. How much does Bolting... Oh, he only has one use of it left. It weighs 10. Oh, it only weighs him down 3. Oh, never mind. Alright. Then here is what we're gonna do. There we go. 7 HP left. <laughs> if that guy gets the choice, he's going to attack Milady, because she can't retaliate. Now we can use the Flux Tome instead of the Nosferatu, which is much more commonplace. All right, Sophia. Just need you to hit one of these. La -la -la -la! Sophia, I just need you to hit this. <laughs> I will try. There we go. You better get more accurate when you as you level up. Because if you have a consistent 46% chance to... <sighs> At least you got magic. At least you got magic. Oh, hey! We get the beast support of Lance. Master Roy, if I may suggest something. What is it? How about if you stay out of the front lines for a while? <laughs> because you're max level. I, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> well, I know what you're thinking, but please understand. An army's leader is crucial. If the leader is lost, then so is the battle. That's true. Then, but I don't think anyone would listen to me if I only keep myself safe and start telling people what to do. That's not true. I'm not particularly smart, and I don't have much charisma either. Uh, well, I don't know about your smarts, but I mean, you're a, a lot of people's favorite Smash character, so... So I have to gain trust by experiencing the pain that everyone else is. Master Roy. Perhaps I'm not meant to be a leader. Perhaps it's just how I am. If only you... You know, that would be a little more believable if you weren't, like, super confident in your abilities in the actual story. Like, oh, we're, we're, we're gonna go do this. Oh, we get, we're gonna go help these people. Oh, we're gonna do this. Oh, this is gonna be easy and great and everything will be okay. It'd be a little more believable if that was the case. Oh man, if I can get Lelina's staff rank up to the point where she can use Physic, oh, she'll be able to heal from anywhere. That's a big if, though. I didn't move him in, her in range of Oats, did no. No, again, Oats' range is reduced. Slightly, though, so it's close. I don't I don't like the changing tiles. This is complicating my strategy forever. Okay, you have a hand axe. I don't like that. Oh I'm running out of my own hand axe. Oh man, but he still has like no chance to hit Lance the Pants. Ah, we're gonna do it! 
I just moved Lance the Pants in range of... Oh! <laughs> At least he can only attack once. Okay, you have a hand axe. I don't like that. Luckily, Lamina's around to deal with you. As long as Milady is a target, people will attack her because she can't retaliate. Unless they can kill somebody else. Alright. Please take out Mr. Handaxe. Ouch! At least Alina's a little tankier now. Alright, keep everybody's spirits up. Beautiful. Alright, Sophia! <laughs> Come on and slam! I know it's a 46% chance, so it is less likely to hit, but she's missed that way more often than she has hit. It's... it's obnoxious. Uh, let's see... You know what? Let's help... Let's give Lance those sweet, sweet support bonuses. Did I just... No, I did not move Roy in range of votes. <laughs> Milady's just been poisoned and, like, weaponless this entire round. Okay, Lance is gonna... Okay. Is gonna hurt. Oh, never mind! Gar! I can't even hit a stationary horse! <laughs> I suck! Why does every pirate have a hand axe? It's super annoying. <laughs> really, dude? You're using a hand axe up close? <laughs> Alright, Lance level up! Lance level up! That sucked! I've gotten sucky level ups this chapter. At least Oats doesn't have his bolting anymore. Alright. <laughs> Let's do it. Don't crit. Thank you. <laughs> Break your iron sword and let Sophia get the kill. That's that's what I want for Christmas. Half of this flux tome has just gone to the void because you keep missing. There we go. <laughs> Shouldn't it be that difficult to get it to kill. Ah, it's just enough res that it won't work. Oh, it's good to have you back, Lance. It'll be even better once I get another Knight's Crest and can bring Trek again. <laughs> Man, I've only gotten one Knight's Crest! There have been so many Cavaliers and Knights, and I've only gotten one Knight's Crest. It's... It doesn't seem right. Hmm. I also do want to keep leveling up Milady, but... Nah. 
Not worth it. Milady is still going to be my <laughs> my sp damage sponge. Just gotta keep her away from them archers. All right, Thaney. Show me what you got. Oh, she got strength! Wow! If only you could have gotten that before I pumped you full of energy rings. I've given her... Okay, I gave her a body ring. I gave her me at least one energy ring. Maybe two. I can't remember if I gave her two or not. If I... No, I, I think... I, th I can't remember if I got two energy rings or not. If I had another energy ring, I definitely gave it to her. I... Th well, let's see. She got to six strength on her own. Barely. So then plus two from an energy ring. Uh, no, she, no, I only gave her one. She got, I think, plus three strength from her promotion. That's where she got the rest. Okay, I think all the pirates are dead now, except for this guy, but he's all the way over here. And he has a sword reaver. Cool. All right. Now we gotta watch out for Mr. Bowman. So if we drop Sophia right here... Will the enemies start moving towards her? It's probably a dumb thing to do, but I'm gonna try it. Because <laughs> for Sophia, there's gonna be free EXP against that, that druid. It's gonna be great. All right, we're gonna rescue Sophia. We're gonna move down around here. All right. Gonna drop Sophia. Oh, we can't drop her in the water. That's dumb. I wouldn't have done it if I had known. All right. Well. If that's the case, then we gotta take out Mercenary Man and Archer Boy. That hit new TV show. Making sure to keep my lady out of range. There, okay. We have summoned them. Oh no! Not Eclipse on Elfin! How dare you! <laughs> oh! There's another guy with Bolting. I thought only Oats had that pleasure. Does that guy move? If that guy can move, that's gonna be bad. Okay, well, we've got to take down Mr. Archer, bro. For sure. Actually, can we take both of these guys out with lightning? Oh, you guys ready for this? Okay. Here, you can take all of your lances back. Then I'm gonna scene for Ellen. Ellen, how do you fare against the archer? Okay. There we go. She doesn't double the mercenary, but she has enough speed to double the archer. Ouch. That's gonna smart, milady. You really need to take out that mercenary. If you can't take out that mercenary, then it's going to be trouble. Oh, wait. First off, Sophia might be able to. <gasps> Sophia, if you take this guy out, it'll be legendary. <laughs> She's going to miss. She always does. Oh! <laughs> Good unit after all. Maybe. Please get speed! You need to get speed! If you don't get speed, you get one shot by everything. I really hope he doesn't move. If he moves, that's gonna be real bad news. He hasn't moved yet, so I'm assuming that means he can't. Oh, 
Hopefully, possibly, maybe. There we go. Fast forward for that. Okay, yeah. You you can absolutely feel free to keep using Eclipse on Elfin. Oh! Hi. Ow. My head. Yeah, alright. Well, this is where... <laughs> and now it's time for the part of the show where we train Sophia on this druid maid. On this druid. Look, bro, I got a lot of uses of this, so... Heal you up. Gotta make sure our lord is not gonna get killed by a bolting. And we'll heal you up. Keep on trying, Sophia. <laughs> We're gonna make you good yet. <laughs> Even if Elfin reaches max level first. I hate how if you miss with the Flux, it still uses up one of the Flux's durabilities. It's actually quite annoying. Whatever. There, how, how many other units could we, could we potentially... Not very many others we can... Uh, grind Sophia up with, so... Sophia is going to be grinding up on this mage for a while. Alright, we gotta keep Milady out of range of that bolting. No two ways about that. I love how this guy's still in the water and, like, can't swim. He's just like, Ah, oh, help! Have Lance pull out his signature weapon. Fanny, you probably can't one round this guy. <laughs> of course not. Fanny, uh, you are you are quite a gem, aren't you? You do you have a longbow? No. Somebody has a longbow. It's one of you. There you are. Wait, now he decides to move up here? He could move out of the water all this time? That's weird. Alright, we'll just use the Killing Edge. Dude, if you don't crit here... I mean... I was told you were crit -ger. You have not been critting nearly as much as you should be. Alright. Lance with the sword. <laughs> His namesake. Gotta get rid of those archers, so that way Milady can swoop in and t help take on the Merc. Oh, you have a Lance Reaver, because of course you do. Sure, why not? Okay. Um. I don't like this guy's bolting range. Okay, you know. Hmm. You know what we're gonna do? 
Oh, hang on. Shoot. Ugh, lady. How well can you fare? Can you kill him with a javelin? No, you can't. Can you reliably kill him with a killer lance? No. Well, fart. Okay. Then we're using Physic on Thaney, because if she gets hit by that Lance Reaver and gets hit by the Bolting, I don't have confidence that she will survive at only 20 HP. <laughs> oh, here we go! Sophia is... Oh, that's right. She's more accurate now, because he's not swimming anymore. That was my chair, Mobius. I sit in a very squeaky chair. <sighs> it's nice to know Sophia's been hitting these 50% chance with, like, a 20% accuracy rate. That's cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't need more than that. Alright. Milady, you're gonna go down the lower route? Yeah, if the bolting deals... Unless the bolting dealt less than 9 damage, I definitely made the right call with uh, healing her up with the physics staff. If the bolting deals 20 damage, it's gonna be annoying. That is assuming the bolting actually can reach. Oh! Bolting is attacking Rutger instead! But he just he just bends his head and he doesn't get hit. Oh hey! Oh my gosh, my lady's finally not poisoned anymore. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Sophia, are you enjoying grinding up on this guy? <laughs> that sounded wrong. Are you enjoying hitting this guy over and over again to get experience points? You are not performing any kind of a skateboard grind. That's not good. You don't skateboard grind on people's faces. You grind on the rails. And only after you've gotten practice. Gosh. She's a level 8! But she's still very underleveled. <laughs> she hasn't gotten HP that much either. Oh, yeah, Thaney. Okay, yeah, pull back. Alright, let's pull this guy on in. Give him a nice, warm welcome. Wait, crap. Okay, right, so... Remove free. So, one, two, three. Oh, okay. Oh, Ruker's the only one who's actually in range of the guy's bolting. Okay, yeah, we can keep doing that, then. It's alright by me. <laughs> Do you think you can run from Sophia? You're dead wrong. Oh, he's getting healing! I, you know what? I'm totally cool with that. <laughs> Means more grinding for Sophia. Ah, uh, man, Siege Tomes suck. They're not fun. I, I, I am, like, totally okay with this guy going to get more healing. My goal is for Sophia to run out of Flux Tomes. Alright, here's level 9 for Sophia! Please get speed! Do you have a Dorcas level speed growth or something? Good lord! Eight level ups and not a single point of speed. That only happens if you're Dorcas. At least she's hitting more frequently. I know she just missed there, but she has been hitting more frequently.
All right, let's turn off Ellen and Lolina's animations for now, because all they're doing is healing. Nice the last use of your hand axe lance. Very proud of you. Now my lady can swoop in and get the KO. Um wait. Oh, he has one more use of bolting. That actually sucks. Hmm. Can Fanny rescue? She can. Cool. Okay. Then yeah, I'm I'm comfortable with this. Oh, if you get a critical hit, too, that would be great. Actually, hmm. Dodge? Okay. If you dodge, then... Oh, come off it! I hate Fire Emblem 6 RNG. It is different than Fire Emblem 7. I don't care what anybody says. It is different. You do not miss 80% this frequently on Fire Emblem 7. Ever. Now we're saving that Worm Slayer. There we go! He finally crits! At a time where I actually do need him to crit. Good job, Critter. <laughs> You're not escaping! <laughs> Yes, please keep using up your physics staff. Oh, sick dodge, m'lady. Oh no! I'm trying to drain the water on me. You know what? To speed things up, I think we're also turning off Sophia's animations. Because that is. The flux animation in this is very alone for no real reason. Especially since she's just going to miss all the time. So dumb. Sword Reaver and Axe Reaver. Well, we can use lances. Let's take it one at a time, though. Oh, hey! I can support uh, Deke again. Sweet! Thaney, I see you fighting on your own a lot. Yeah! I'm on a Pegasus, see? I have a different movement pace than the others, so it's easier to fight on my own. Alright, then. I want you to slow down your pace from now on. What? But I'm doing fine on my own! Everyone gets worried when you just go charging in like that. But if I get stronger... Can you stand up against a legion in the thousands? Um, no. Then make sure you match your pace with the others to make sure we can win. To make sure we can win, huh? Wars aren't fought alone, you know. Yeah. Mmm, riveting supports, as always. All right, well, good job. Uh, I hate that 2% crit! That could have been disastrous if he had hit that 2% crit and then this Wyvern also. Mm, what's with all these 1% crits? I hate that! No, that's why she has low luck. Actually, that's not even that low luck. Uh, 
Okay. Ooh, yes. Let's use lightning. Boom. I want to train up Ellen's light magic rank. It's going to be tough, but I want to do it. Speaking of tough, but I want to do it. Hey! Gotten a couple good hits. That's great. Ooh, if we surround the, the archer up here as well. And the archer. If we can surround the archers... Actually, then we can also pick them off with, uh, what's-her-face? Forget her name already, Sophia. <laughs> Not being mean, just genuinely forgot her name. Oh my gosh, did this guy run out of physics? No, he still has nine uses left. He's just deciding not to use it up. I should have given her the extra flux that I bought. I didn't think she would need it, but she actually is going to need it. She only 14 or 24 uses of the flux yet. All right, Milady, you can lure out the wyvern. Thaney will assist. And I guess the rest of us can just kind of sit around and chew. Why? <laughs> Is that... <laughs> Has this priest just been like, you know what? That druid's a lot. That druid is a lost cause. Oh no, he's in the... He's swimming again. His evasion is up. Hey, she got a dark magic increase. Now she's B rank. Oh, she can use the Luna now. Assuming Luna is in this. It better be in this. Luna's like my favorite. Maybe they balanced it. Luna definitely needed to be balanced. I'm gonna look... You know what? I'm gonna look up who Sophia can support. Out of the characters who I have. Okay, apparently she has a 30% speed growth, so she should have gotten speed at this point. She's just been unlucky. Oh, wow, her support pool is narrow. She can support Roy, but Roy is out of supports. And she can support Ray, who is another Dark Magic user. And then three other people who I have not gotten yet. Alright, we'll have to save her supports for the future. Oh, nope. The priest is like, okay, I'll give Mr. Druid another chance. Oh, dang. They're both healing him up. Riders are tough in this game. They have a lot of defense. I know Thaney is also just kind of weak, but still. Get a crit? Oh, yeah! <laughs> nice one. Okay, Killer Lance on the lady. That was a good move. <laughs> that was a good move.
This has been a very long chapter, and we're only like halfway done! <laughs> I'm gonna be streaming for a while today, it looks like. Elfin might cap his level this chapter. Actually, no, he's not. He's not even halfway. Sophia, please! You have a 50% hit rate, and you have been missing, like, 80% of the time. And your level ups have been crap. Oh, oh, they can support. That's nice. Alright, nice job, m'lady. Keep it up. Oh, that's right, I should pull up Twitch chat on my phone again. Not that anything's really happening. Other people have better things to do on Valentine's Day than watch me grind up Sophia in Fire Emblem 6. There we go! Lady, you could also... At this point... At this point, I'm probably more inclined to give the speed wings to Milady. Because at least that'll make her... Wow, that's a lot of damage. If I... Because here's the thing. If I give the speed wings right now to Sophia, that's not going to make a lick of a difference. At all. Like, it'll give her 4% 4, 4 extra evasion. But every enemy in the game is still going to be able to double her. But if I give the speed wings to Milady, I think Milady will start reliably doubling pretty much everything. So that actually might be a better use of it. Ugh. Ugh. No, I don't trust that. Sophia? Good lord. You should not be missing this much. I think she's missed about ten times in a row. That's a good level up, Elvin. If you miss this, thank you! I don't want to run out of the freaking Flux Tome, so... Alright, I've got 16 uses left, so... Cool. Nice. Another level up for Sophia. She's level 10 now. She got speed! Okay, that's a good level up. I've been waiting for one of those. I will wait to see Sophia as the end product before I make my final decision on whether she's good or, or whether she's terrible or not, but right now, yeah, I, I'm starting to think she kind of deserves the reputation that she got as far as her quality as a gameplay unit. Really, Malidi? That's the second time you've only gotten HP in two chapters. I expect better from you. Okay. We'll support them again. I was about to be was that it? <laughs> hey, I thought I told you to stop that. Persistent, aren't you? You seem to be in a bad mood. Did something happen? Let me guess. You found a personal enemy in Burns' ranks. Guess I hit the spot. Then how come you're taking it out on me? I saw the soldier who led the attack on my hometown, Bulger. But when I reached him, he was already dead. 
It was you, Deke. Those sword marks. It had to be you. Sorry. Had I known, I would have left him to you. This is a battlefield. Enemies don't belong to anybody. Rutger, can't you relax a little more? You can't rush for life. Support level increased. Oh, that's cool. That's interesting. This explains why Rutger's so brooding. Oh my gosh. If I can get that A support with Clarine, Rutger's gonna be unstoppable! If they heal up that druid again... Oh, they didn't! Cool! Sophia gets another couple cracks at him. Twelve uses of the flux left. That'll be enough to get her level up a little bit more. The problem is, even after all of this grinding, she's still nothing's changed. She will still die in one round from anything. And she's not that much more powerful. So like I don't I don't know, man. I don't know what to do about that. Oh hey. There you go. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> Healing up the druid one more time, eh? Man, Nosferatu hits like a truck in this. Darn it, I was hoping to lure him out of range of the physics staff, but nope, didn't work. Oh, doggone it, that stupid druid has freaking 10 extra evasion again. Alright. If I crit him, then I crit him. But I didn't crit him. Oh man, Sophia, you might be able to finish the job! Oh! Yeah! Nice job, Sophia. That druid needed to pay. <sighs> You're beginning really bad level ups, though. She's only gotten one good level up out of the ten she's gotten. That's not good. Sophia, I want to like you. I really do. But right now, you're, you're being cow patty. Alright, let's... Well, let's Kricker has a level 4. <laughs> that leaves my lady with 1 HP left. Let's do it. Really? He's gonna freaking hit her. Yep! That's Fire Emblem 6. You miss an 81 and get hit by a 59. Are you, are you serious? <sighs> That's Ruker! He never crits unless you don't need him to. Even with, like, a ludicrously high critical hit rate. It's annoying. I've worked hard cultivating that. Alright. At this point, I just want to take out the freaking mercenary. Oh, and the mercenary has one... Yes. Okay. I wish I had another men's staff right about now.
Well, at least we have vulneraries. How much attack? Does this guy have a Lance Reaver? No. He's got 18 in Okay. He ain't gonna kill my lady. My goal is to kill the mercenary, then surround the archer. And then we can get, have Sophia pick off the archer, and then this guy. But we... Oh. We gotta deal with Mr. Elfire Mage, though. That's important. This is... Okay. If Elfire Mage will move... Then he'll move to attack me here, and I'll be ready for him. Okay. They're moving forward a little early. <laughs> moving forward a little early today, aren't we, Aladdin? Okay. Hmm. Okay. And here's what we're gonna do. Archer absolutely cannot read. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do this. Chug that last vulnerary. Or apply that last vulnerary, whatever you do with it. We're gonna move back just enough, and now we'll easily be able to surround him on the next turn. we go. Really? Are you serious? What is wrong with these hit rates? God. Just one of the reasons that Fire Emblem 6 is not that great. <laughs> I don't know what they done. I don't know what they did, but these these RNs are completely different than Fire Emblem Sevens. Completely different. Cool. There we go. Now all that's left is the Great Oats himself. Ah, welcome, Xavier. I mean, it's been going well. She's level 11. She's been missing a ton, and she's gotten really bad level ups, but... We have managed to level her up pretty substantially. Alright. Here we go. Operations Surround the Archer begins now. Yeah, I'm starting to see why people consider her to be, like, one of the worst units ever. Because, like, she starts bad, she seems to still be bad. Like, I've given her ten level ups, she really doesn't seem any better than when she started. But she's, but she's cute, so we're still using her. Them's the brakes. I also I want to I want to I want to use her and I want to see just by myself if she really is that bad. All right. Oh, uh, Totes McOats is gonna be super easy. Cool. I get actually <laughs> she cute and valid exactly. You know it hides a multitude of sins. And honestly, the main here's the thing. She's cute, but she's also nice. That's the, the holy trifecta. That's all you need. Alright, we're going to bring her over. Get a heal up elfin. 
Well, Florina's difficult to use, but she's really good if you can use her well. Like, I gotta say, Fanny has kind of been carrying me through this for this chapter. Because she can fly on water and she can use swords right now. So I may, I may have misjudged her. Yes, Florina is difficult to use, especially if you skip Lynn's story. She deals incredibly low damage, and if you breathe on her, she dies. And unlike people like Lynn, she can't even take advantage of invasive terrain. And she arrives. <laughs> Alright, we gotta take people over one at a time. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the priest is blocking us out! Whatever will we do? I wonder how Ellen would fare against to Totes McOats. I'm curious to know. I just want to point out, she has consistently had like a 45 to 55% chance to hit like everything the entire map, and she has been missing about 80% of the time. She's gone through almost two flex tomes, and I've only hit people about maybe 15 times with them. It's kind of infuriating a little bit. Alright, well, we're still using her. I've committed this far. I've, I'm in too deep now. And this is assuming I actually get another Guiding Ring. Sorry, Chlorine. If, you get, if we get another Guiding Ring, I'm not using it on you. There we go. Gotta say, though, giving Elfin the boots. Best best decision I made. Like, just period in this game. Boots on Ellen is mm, so good. Oh, so good. So delicious. Gimmick on this level kind of is stupid, though. I don't like the water bridges. Alright, how does Ellen fare against Totes McOats? Actually, not too bad, because Ellen's resistance is just through the roof. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to heal back all of the HP we damage him. But you know what? No, I can get behind this, and this will train Ellen's light magic rank, which is what I want to do. Let's do it. Oh, you try to take on the mighty Oats? Man, Oats, you're... you're your battle sprite looks so much younger than your portrait. I've been working out. <laughs> All right, never kill for Sophia. All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All bosses have unique sprites in the code? I mean, that looked pretty generic to me. Yeah, that's... Wow, you know, Lena actually got HP. That's not the classic Lena level up. Classical Lena level up is like magic and res. <laughs> the game is so bad we programmed the sprites don't work. Wow. That, that is bad. <laughs> that's pretty embarrassing. Ah, you've chased my air fire! <laughs> this oat's gonna get hot! <laughs> man, old man Oats is putting up a bit of a fight. <laughs> Gotta say, like, I'm, I'm slightly impressed. Elfin has gotten probably six level-ups on this level. 
So he's he's doing great. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, cool. All right, Ellen. Ellen is still safe, even if she gets hit by all of this. Ellen, come off! What is this game? This game is famous for just making your attacks always miss and the enemy's attacks always hit. Seriously, I've missed so much on this chapter, and the enemies have very rarely missed. Or maybe it's just confirmation bias, because I notice the times that I miss way more than the times that I hit, but still. This game has a different way of generating random numbers, I'm convinced. Uh, uh, Artie, there's no evidence of that, and nothing in the code. I don't care. From my experience with this game versus Fire Emblem 7, they calculate the RN differently. I've missed 80% so much more in this than in that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Ellen finally hit Oats. Not that it's going to do anything, because gonna, he's going to heal it all back. <laughs> I love... Wait, does this guy still have a Physics Staff? He does! He's just... Uh, well, I guess Oats has only taken 5 damage, but still. Alright. Oats still won't kill. And we can always rescue her away. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have so much fun making the thumbnail for the YouTube vod. Probably I'll probably Photoshop the Quaker Oats guy's or Oats his face over the Quaker Oats guy. There's so much I can do. Oh my gosh, Elfin with Boots is so good! <laughs> Dancer with Boots just should not be allowed. <laughs> it's too OP. I'm convinced Milady and Ellen can support. I have no evidence of this. But I'm convinced they can, because it would make sense, because they're both, like, Guinevere's attendants. I have heard this game is, like, infamously poorly coded together. Where, like, the code is kind of literally falling at the seams. Oh, what, you think you can hide from Sophia? Is that what you think? You're wrong! <laughs> Doggone it, Sophia! Would you please stop getting crappy level ups? Every single one except one has been just trash! I am looking up her growth rates. Sophia's growth rates 60% HP, she has gotten, I think, four times. 55% magic, I think she's gotten magic, like, twice. 40% skill, she's gotten that only, like, three times. 30% speed, she's gotten that once. 20% luck, yeah, that tr that tracks. 20% defense, that also kind of tracks. I think she should have gotten it at least once. And 55% res. She's gotten res a lot. She is very, very resistant to magic. But, wow! She has gotten... The, she's gotten some of the worst level ups I've ever seen. Like, I'm astonished at how badly she's been leveling up. At least now she's hitting more reliably. Slightly. Again, I'm just here to train Ellen's light magic rank up. <laughs> this is the grind fest chapter. It's very slow. I absolutely could kill Oats easily with, like, Ruger or Deke, but no. I want Ellen to get S rank and light magic. Oh, that's a nice level up, Ellen. Very nice. <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna take a while, but she's my only light magic user, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> and I'm training up uh, Lelina's staff rank. 
Actually, if I barrier up <laughs> Sophia, she actually might fare okay against Oats. Actually, wait. Actually, she'll have Magic Triangle advantage. I'm gonna see if I can do that. <laughs> I'm actually gonna see if I can do that. It's probably a really phenomenally stupid idea, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. <laughs> this is gonna be, unless unless she can get crit by Oats and, and killed. I'm gonna be very careful. I wish- I still wish that the Magic Tomes didn't lose uses if you miss with them. Like, if you miss with your, like, sword, it doesn't expend one of the weapon uses, but if you miss with your magic, it does. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's just almost broken as Hellfire! Ah! I- It doesn't- it actually doesn't really make sense why the magic books break at all. Because you're just reading an incantation in a book, and then it's like, oh, you read the book too many times, so, um, it's just, it disintegrated. That's what it feels like. Okay, well, I'm just, well, if that's the case, I'm just gonna hold out until his, his elf fire breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Oats is like, thanks for giving your old man a break. <laughs> I know you could have slaughtered me by now. <laughs> You're right, Oats. I could have killed you many times over at this point. But I'm just such a nice guy. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it, son. <laughs> Let's see how Sophia fares against him. Once he's... Does he have two or four? He has two uses of his Elfire left. Okay, I don't like that 4% crit, so we're not doing that. I I know. I just... Meh. There are other Fire Emblem games where you can miss with uh, your magic spells and it doesn't expend the uses. So why can't it... Why can't you be more like that? <laughs> Alright, Oats just broke his Elfire. <laughs> Actually, how high is our hit rate here? <laughs> Never mind. We're not using Sophia. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is funny. What you gonna do, Oats? Oh! It was at this point that Oats knew he screwed up. <laughs> 1% crit there would have been fantastic. Alright, well, we got Sophia to level 12. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Oats, keep healing yourself. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so dumb. <laughs> I, I have an arena abuse, though. I want to point that out. I have not abused the arena. I have just abused the game in a lot of other ways. But you know what? I take what I can get. This game... This game is so unfair. <laughs> I'm using every advantage. <laughs> if the mind glitch was in this, I would absolutely use it. Oh! Support! Yes! Support Ellen and Milady. Lady Milady, are you not hurt? No, Ellen. I'm fine. Oh, if you're going up front, then please take these vulneraries. I already... I already drank them all. Ellen, what's the matter? What? You seem to be more helpful than usual. N no, by no means. If you have something to say, then I'm willing to listen. Well, I guess I can't force you. But since we are both serving Princess Guinevere, I would appreciate it if you told me. I'm sorry. Ah, well, I suppose I'll wait until you're ready. I'm sorry, Lady Milady. I knew they could support! It just makes sense. Down with oats! Oh, and she gets crit bonus! And an accuracy bonus. That's nice. <laughs> La -da -da -da!
Give me that heal staff. Because I'm going to heal you with it. Everybody else is top notch. Top by off. Cool. Still the matter of... Uh, <laughs> Still don't know who to give the Angelic Robe, the Speed Wings, or the Talisman to. Normally I would give the, the, the Speed Wings to Sophia, but that's not going to make any difference. Maybe I'll give the Angelic Robe to Sophia. That might make a difference. Maybe. <laughs> I'm letting Oats get his HP back so I can keep building up that Light Magic rank on Ellen. <laughs> Leave an old man alone! I haven't seen any mines yet, so... <laughs> Ellen's gonna break her lightning soon. Oh man, she's stuck at D rank! It wouldn't be in this, because mines don't seem to be a fane in this game. That's why. You can't trigger the, the mine glitch without mine. I, I actually think you can, but... It's a lot harder. <laughs> Oats is just here eating his oatmeal, getting his HP back. Are th the water bridges are still moving around? What turn is it? It's turn 44! The water is still moving around. This is nuts. Oh no. Oats, you butt. You dodged. <laughs> I may be old, but I'm still agile! Well then, have another one. Can't touch this! <laughs> Duck on it, Oats! <laughs> you gotta stop! <laughs> I'll never stop grooving! That's why I eat Quaker Oatmeal and have Quaker Oats with every meal. Then you'll be as fast as me! <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> Slowpoke! You whippersnappers can't stop this old man! <laughs> Talk on it, Oats! <laughs> Eat this! Ellen, please crit. <laughs> if you crit, Oats, that'll be so good. Dang! Nice level up! Alright. Two more chances. We gotta kill Oats with Ellen. I don't know why, but Oats is Ellen's arch enemy. It's canon. Otherwise, we're gonna have to find somebody else to kill them with. Alright. Alright, Ellen. If you hit this last bit of lightning, it will be the most legendary fiend of all. Not really, but it will be hilarious. Please. No! Oats, you butt! <laughs> I'm not losing to a girl! <laughs> Alright, Oats. You think you're not losing to a girl? Is that it? Oh, well, uh, I, I, I didn't mean it! <laughs> nope. You can't hit this old man. <laughs> this old man, he played two. He played two on his kazoo. Uh -huh. We can hit him with Nosferatu, maybe. Oh wait, the problem is if we hit him with Nosferatu, well, we didn't hit him with Nosferatu and therefore he's going to get HP back. Fart! <laughs> <laughs> Young people kind of suck. Old people all the way. You're not going to kill me with no stinking killer lance? <laughs> Put that lance down, lady. You'll hurt yourself. Oats. <laughs> I had enough of you, Oats. You've, been, you've stuck around for way too long. I'm going on 50 turns today! <laughs> Eat this! <laughs> wow, you're so slow. I'm so happy I'm sitting on a throne and getting myself 30 extra avoid. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Oats. <laughs> young people suck. You look pretty young in your portrait. That's because the game designers didn't want us to put any extra effort into the game to create custom oat sprats. 
Oats should have been an Arc Sage. Oats should have been the main villain. You're never gonna hit me with that! Oh! No! Where did you learn to fight like this? <laughs> and thus Oats died as he lived. A legend. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'll say yes to luck. His milady has been facing some low percent crits. There we go. Scene for Lolina. Heal one more time, and then we conquer the throne. Who doesn't love old people? I'll haunt you until the end of your days! Oh, come! The throne impedes movement! What turn? Is, is this turn 50? Is this just freaking turn 50? Oh! Ha! Take it that, Oats! You didn't make me take 50 turns! No! I really wanted you to take 50 turns! Doesn't matter! Your tactic strike is gonna plummet! <laughs> I'll never forget Oats. He's been the most memorable boss thus far. Like, by far. <laughs> it is here, inside this altar. It won't open. This altar is made so that only those of the village may open it. So please allow me. Yes. There. There is the divine weapon. The one that Aphos used? Then, yes. The infernal element, Fourblaze. Yeah, Fourblaze! Wait! Oh! It's Barley! It's Oats' brother, Barley! Oh, who are you? How did you enter? My name is Roy. I came with Sophia to protect this village. Sophia? And it was you who drove off Oats and burned soldiers. Oh, please forgive my impudence. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I am the Elder of Arcadia. Your name is Barley. I'm, it's actually not. No, you're Barley. <laughs> All right. Elder, then are you the dragon? Dragon, they once called me that. But that is a story of a time long since past. Let me see. The only real dragon we have is Far right here. Oh, you're you're a mannequin. Can we get you on our team? Are you gonna be an actually like really good balanced mannequin like Mur? A mannequin that's not stupidly overpowered or stupidly underpowered? Are you actually going to be balanced? That would be great. Hi. This little girl is a dragon. Yes, although she is far from the mature form. Elder, do you know anything about the dragons in Burn? What? There are dragons in Burn. Yes, we have seen them. Why? Dragons do not exist anywhere except here. Elder, if I may. What is it, I green? Sophia said that she could detect an evil force coming from Burn's troops. That may have something to do with the dragons Roy says he saw at Burn. She's oh, underpowered and overpowered at the same time. You know what? That sounds like balance to me. Perhaps, but I'm too old to detect such force now. Oats stole my powers! Okay, enough about Oats. Force? What is that? Oh, well, I I've got the Star Wars trilogy here. You should watch it. Sophia is half dragon, half human. Oh, that's how she's been able to stay smoking hot for all of these years. <laughs> Sophia's not aged a day since Fire Emblem 7. That explains it. Oh, she's half dragon. Cool. That gives her the ability to detect the pulses emitted from other dragons. Can we give her a dragon stone and turn her into a mannequin? No! Please! Nope! She sucks! Talk on it! <laughs> but because she could not detect them clearly, she only said that she felt a force that was twisted unnaturally. I think that you should look into it. Elder, if you would allow it, I would like to ask to join Roy and looking for to burn for myself. Oh yes, please! Are you Hawkeye's daughter? You got blonde hair and you're from the desert, so maybe. I really do not want to deal with matters of the outside. I just want to watch Jeopardy and eat my body. Just get out of my village. It isn't surprising for Fa to just die randomly, but her damage isn't bad. Hmm, interesting. Well, this is a time of emergency. Well, then, Roy, will you take her? Certainly. I am I Green, the guardian of Nabata. Oh, yeah, she's she's Hawkeye's daughter, I bet. Hawkeye talked about having a daughter in Fire Emblem 7. I have confidence in my skills with the bow. The bow? 
Are you gonna be a nomadic trooper? Cause, I don't know how, but somehow, both of my potential nomadic troopers died! <laughs> I believe I can aid you in battle as well. Thank you! Fa's going too! What are you saying? Of course you may not! There's no telling what would happen if your existence were exposed to the world! Oh, come on, she gotta see the world someday if she wants to be a strong, independent whammon. Well then, let's go. Yes. Fine. Fa will just follow them anyway. I'm not saying no to a mannequin. Oh yeah, floor blaze! That's going straight to Lelina. If she can actually use it. Okay, well you know what? <laughs> the chapter kind of sucked, but at least we didn't have to restart it. That was the first chapter in a while that we haven't had to restart and play off stream. So that, I'll take it. I'll take it. And also, that chapter was largely my fault for being so boring, because I'm like, gotta, gotta grind up Sophia, gotta grind up on oats. <laughs> Get it? Grind oats! <laughs> oh, I was proud of that one. It was terrible, but it was great. <laughs> you know what? I don't care. I'm happy to have Fa on our team. If Fa's if Fa's gonna be a balanced mana keep, then that that would be great. I, if if Fa's anything like Murr from Sacred Stones, Murr is the best mana keep because a she ain't trying to sleep with any of the uh, the people in the army because she's like a little kid, and also like she's really good, but she's weak to arrows, so she does have her weaknesses, and you can only use her a limited amount of time, so. Oh, I, I can't wait to see Fawn's sprite then. That's going to be interesting. All right, well, that's going to be all the time we have for tonight's stream. We went like a half hour over time because I really wanted to grind them oats. <laughs> all right, well, it looks like next time we're going to Chapter 15, Dragon Girl. Oh, gee, I wonder who we'll be getting in this chapter. I, I just don't know. It's probably I agree. <laughs> I agree. It's like, I'm skilled with the bow, but also I have a dragon stone. <laughs> that would be great if we could get some mana geats. You know what? I would use them, <laughs> even though I have more people than I'm using. Also, um... Also, can I please get another Knight's Crest? Because we gotta promote Star Trek. I've only gotten one Knight's Crest, and we Star Trek is just waiting for his promotion. He can't do anything until he does, so... Hopefully we can get one of those next time as well. Alright, anyhow, that's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you all for joining in. This was definitely a lot of fun. We'll be streaming this again on Wednesday, so two days from now, uh, at the usual 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Looks like we'll be seeing what Fa's all about and getting I Green on our team, so that's going to be great. We I hope she's a nomadic trooper. That would be pretty nice. Alright, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless. See you next time, everybody.